And welcome everybody, Prophecy in the Spotlight here. I'm your host, Brother Dan Goodwin, and we're glad to have Dr. Hiltabittle back with us. He was up on the, uh, he, got, uh, he got abducted by UFOs and was taken to another, <laughs> another dimension somewhere. Uh, Doc, what did you see out I there? I got, they have a joystick. They, it's a joystick. We've yeah. discovered that it's a joystick, not a steering yeah. wheel. Yeah, amen. Man, we could really get some shows going, <laughs> Doc. We could get, we, we'd have thousands. Somebody probably. We have hundreds we're not of joking. thousands of followers. All we yeah. got to do is give in and, and go have with somebody it. Yeah. or have somebody get abducted by by yeah. fallen angels yeah, and right. And uh, so anyway, uh, so I guess they're after old people now. Uh, they're after us old guys. Yeah, <laughs> they're, after, not, they're they're trying to get wisdom. That's what it is. Yeah. So <laughs> so they brought you back. I <laughs> see. They brought you back. They didn't find any. <laughs> uh, folks, um, hey, uh, these are these are. Amazing days that we're living in. Yes. Uh, we have just uh, celebrated uh, resurrection and Passover and all that uh, just a few days ago. And, uh, but life goes on here on planet Earth because the time clock hasn't ended yet. That's right. We've got, uh, uh, we've got more time to go here. And, we don't uh, know how long, but we ought to plan as if we have plenty, but we ought to be living as if it's end. Yeah, I always said live as if he could come today, but plan to be an old man. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I still believe that. Amen. Even though I strongly believe we're at the last of the last days. Well, it sure does look like it from ever, I tell folks everywhere I go, uh, doesn't matter what prophetic road you walk down, man, we're here at the end of it. And so. Yeah. I was just talking to somebody on the phone and about you, and, and I don't remember who it was now. They said, well, I hope Doc's alive for the rapture. I hope so. And you know what they meant by that. Yep. They're ready right now. It's coming soon. If, Amen. Uh, all right. Well, there's a couple of news things uh, in the, on the airways. Again, we don't know what's true and what isn't. I almost won't even read know. anything about Ukraine. It's unreal, isn't it? Because I don't know who to, I don't, I know our government. I don't know if any of them have anything but a propaganda machine. Yeah. So, so I, I don't pay much attention to any of that. And uh, here's something that came across. The, it says here, Pope Francis abandoned Christ's cross to appease Muslims. Did yeah. you read the article? Yeah, I read part Skin of the article. I read the highlights of the article. Was this the, the, was it, it, this is not the first time uh, because remember even at Notre Dame, they covered up the, they covered up the crosses because of a previous administration was speaking there, Islamics. And, and so... But he's working hard at, hey, by the way, the religion they're working on is Christless anyway. Yeah. They just don't know it. Yeah. And, so, and we know where this all ends. The, sure. The, 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 this is going to be the ministry of the false prophet who's going right. to bring the world's religions all under one yeah. roof. And, and as far as I'm concerned, modern day Catholicism is nothing but gloss covered up mysteries of Babylon to start with. Yeah. And I came out of that. I got saved. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. used to be an altar boy. I used to ring yeah. the bells and all that yeah. stuff. And, and uh, here's another uh, headline. French presidential hopeful yes. Marine Le Pen wants to divide Jerusalem. I read that and I thought, you just sealed your doom. Yeah. There's, she had a chance, but I, I, if she wants to do that... There's not a she, much stupider thing a person could say. That could be, uh, that. to me, as a conservative... The most dumb, that, that's the dumbest thing she could ever come But she's not the first. Oh, no. And she won't be the last. Oh, no. Everybody thinks the way to appease that mess over there is to, is to give, give up. Give, give half to them and half to them. And but they need to read Joel chapter 3. They really think that's going to stop the hatred of the Jews and, the, and, and that they would be happy with well, look that. Look what's happening with the Palestinians and the, all the murders and all that yeah. in the last couple of weeks. Now, what happens to the Temple Mount in this scenario? Oh, there's another one I didn't print off. The, the, the Palestinians and the Arabs said, this is war if, they, if the Jews want to sacrifice on the mountain. Yeah, I saw some headlines that it's time to sacrifice on yep. the Temple the Mount. The Jews said it's time to sacrifice, and the Arab community said this is a declaration of war. Isn't it amazing? That that would be a declaration of war. Yeah, just go up there and, and, and kill an animal on a, on yeah. a makeshift altar, and, yeah. and that's World War Three. But I got to thinking about it. You know, the whole purpose for Jesus, who is our Passover, 
was to crush the head yeah. uh, of Satan. And so I guess it is a declaration of war you know, if, if, on sin. If Christianity is all a lie and it's fake, What's the Why big deal? Then what would be the big deal? How's it going to harm anybody? <laughs> Go up there, do whatever you want. There's yeah. no, yeah. But the uh, devil knows it's real. See, yeah. Yeah, we we know that a Russian ship, a cruiser, sunk. We we don't know what happened. <laughs> One side says that they sent a missile and did it. One side they said it was a a fire. Well, I find that kind of hard to believe unless the fire was in the munitions deck where all the armament was. But uh, to sink an entire flagship. But then again, I, I don't believe the other side either, so yeah. Google, maybe lightning struck it. Google limits what publishers can say about the Ukraine war yeah. if they want to stay monetized. The, you know, I, I, is anybody sick of the censorship yet? This, this is... This hey, is, I don't know about you, but I hope Elon Musk pulls his thing off of Twitter. He's got a plan. He's got a plan, and they're they're trying to come up with what they call the poison pill. I don't know exactly what that means, but I'm, I'm not that big up in economics. But whew. so let's let's get on to the earthquakes here. Oh, that's a good Luke one. Luke 21, 8, and he said, "Take heed that you be not deceived, for many shall come in my name." Uh, goes on to say, uh, "Wars and rumors of wars," mm -hmm. and uh, and then verse 11. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, yes. and famines, and pestilence, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. And he's not talking about the tribulation. He's talking yep. about coming up he's on it. He's talking about the leading up to it. The and signs then look. The good. headline here is Massive Earthquakes Swarm in Antarctica. Yes. You know, there's something about Antarctica that's funny. <laughs> yeah. And some of it's conspiracy stuff, but. Uh, there is there is something good. There's got to be Antarctica. some. Well, know you is. know, before the flood, it wouldn't have been a frozen Antarctica. So, yeah, yeah. I don't know if maybe we we have testing grounds and CIA oh, operations I, that maybe come out of there. I don't know. Who knows what's. And that's out how there. a lot of the conspiracy stuff comes yeah. because yeah. just like the UFOs, which I'm going to talk about in a minute here, um, when our government or the CIA or whoever is testing stuff. Mm -hmm. That's when people see stuff and, and all this crazy yeah. stuff gets out there. Well, there's all kinds of things about Antarctica, but uh, I think it said there was another article from uh, Israel News, 85,000, what was it? 80, a swarm of 85,000 earthquakes at the Antarctic Orca submarine volcano, whatever that is. Well, there, there's a subterranean volcano. Uh, that's been dormant. All of a sudden, it's awake. And 85,000 quakes in a short period of time. I don't know, period of time, maybe 72 hours or something like that. In other words, that whole place is shaking down there. So, Earthquakes. something's awakening. <laughs> it means the volcano. Hey, the volcanoes are awakening all over the world. Hey, the Bible says in the book of Romans that the earth groaneth and travaileth Awaiting its That's day. That's the exact redemption. verse I was just going to quote. This is where the we are. The whole world groaneth. Yes. Awaiting what? The redemption. The redemption. That's your word. Yeah. Well, I, I, uh, humanity's groaning and travailing. Yeah. Nature, the actual planet itself. Uh, yeah, the yeah. stage is set. Because the Lord said, it, when you look at the things He said, you, you're looking for the things uh, above the earth, well, it starts out looking for the things under the earth, the things on the earth, and the things above the earth. All three of them that were at the end of it. Yeah. A lot of things are taking place. Now, recently, Tucker Carlson uh, got on the UFO thing again. Did he? Um, I don't know. I've been on the road for three weeks straight, and I haven't seen any real news. I've just and, been preaching. And I like Tucker. Um, he's the yeah. only guy I can listen to anymore. Okay. I'm not saying he's right on everything, but I I enjoy listening to him. I yeah. feel like he's telling us He searches the out truth. what he says and stands behind. Yeah. Got the information. And, uh, I would love to get invited to do a segment yeah. with them to give him what I believe is the Bible view. Right. Not the prophecy people's view, the Bible view, because yeah. there's a difference. <laughs> let me let me read the back cover of the book. Uh, let me have this camera real just real quickly here. There's, uh, this is one of my newest booklets, in case you all don't have it. The UFOs, Truth or Fable. Truth or Fable. Um, it's not a big book. 
Uh, it doesn't go into to a lot of detail, but there's some interesting things in here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> On the back cover, I said this. Since the late 40s, people have been fascinated with UFO phenomenon. That is to be expected since the world has gone after evolution and other non-biblical beliefs. We have reared a generation of people who no longer believe in God. That's Whose fault is that's that? Right. It's the parents' fault, but it also goes back to the man of God, the preachers. Yeah. I hate to be hard on preachers because I, I is one, but I'm telling you, the preachers of our country have dropped the ball in, in, in this generation. The thing is, they dropped it way back there when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean... I remember evolution when I was in second grade. I remember the, the posters on the wall. I can still see them, mm -hmm. you know, from a monkey, and then he begins oh, to yeah. get up, and you know, until finally becomes a man. Mm -hmm. um, you know that that was going on in the seventies. I don't know when that exactly yeah. started in the schools. Probably the sixties, or I don't know. Well, it goes back further than that, but it became popular in the fifties and sixties, yeah. and when they really began making those pushes. So we've reared a generation of people who no longer believe in God, in the God of the Bible, and have instead gone after sci-fi, humanism, and whatever other new enticing yep. fad comes along. Yep. Worse, Bible-believing people, especially those who are leading prophecy ministries, have bought into the UFO hype hook, line, and sinker. Sure seems like it. When did it all begin? Where does it end? Are there aliens visiting our planet? What is the truth about UFOs? Is it truth or fables? All this and more is answered <laughs> in this booklet here. And uh, Doc, it all began back there with uh, Area 51, uh, the Roswell yeah. UFO incident. That's where, that's, the, that's where it all began right there. <laughs> And then, of course, in the 50s, Area 51 comes along. And all of it's, but all of that revolves around the same time. Israel comes back into the land and prophecy for the end times begins. And the Cold War. Yep. And the Cold War is basically Russia, there's others, but mainly Russia and us, mm -hmm. fighting to be superior in our development of technology War, war machines and weaponry. Uh, of course, we had we had beat everybody to the atomic bomb, but not by much. Yeah, um, it wasn't long after that Russia had theirs, and uh, Germany was right on the on the cusp of it. It was very close. Well, it, it, if it hadn't been for the German scientists defecting, yeah, we'd we'd through, all be through the Yavol commandant. We'd all be yeah. speaking oh, German. Oh, we would all be. Yeah. Yeah, they were brilliant. Some brilliant people. Oh yes. I have to say yes because and you is one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I met a guy where I preached just this uh, this last meeting. Um, man, big tall German guy, uh, married to an American gal. Really sweet Christian man, but he still spoke with that German brogue with his English. Yeah. Loves the Lord, so, so us Germans can get saved. Yep. Too. <laughs> I'm convinced, Doc, that most. Most of the stuff that people are seeing now, these blips and lights mm -hmm. flying or triangles, everybody talking about these triangles, things going into the water, at fantastic speeds that, that they don't think is possible. I am convinced it's military grade stuff. Uh, I, I, I think more of it is, is light right. than it is actual entities. Uh, right. Yeah. Imagine, t imagine let's just look, think about a laser beam. Yeah. Or even a, a laser light that you, you can shine onto mm -hmm. an aircraft in the sky. It's against no. the law. Some, um, some, if you move that thing across the sky, that would be thousands of miles yeah. an hour. I mean, it'd be, it, yeah. they would say that's impossible. It's simply moving your, yeah. you know, it's a light. It is. And, uh, I, of course, I speak a lot on science and the Bible as well. And one of the most fascinating things is the first thing you find in the Bible on day number one uh, on day number one, after the Bible says, in the beginning God created the heaven and earth, then you find, and God said, let there be light. Yeah. Most people don't know that time is actually measured by light rays. And, and light I heard is you an discuss amazing, that. I watched, yeah. I watched the video from your, your conference that you did, and you talked about that. Uh, Most of that's over our heads. Well, it's not not. 
Well, it's really not that complicated uh, when people understand that. Uh, of course, in that conference, I never got to what I'd like to have gotten to, but, you know, every, everything is penciled. We see each other because of how our atoms Well, I know that displace light. Einstein talked about going around the corner. He's talking about light. Light bent. So light he understood curve. some of this. Light rays curve. Yeah. They do. And it had to, had to do with time. Yeah. And that's, of course, when you say, well, they see these objects go like that. Yeah. Because when you're looking at light and light rays curve, they do. That's so, why when you look at the horizon, uh, you look at the horizon over there and what happens? It goes down. It but not for flat earth people. Well, I'm sorry, but uh, <laughs> the earth's only flat when there's not a mountain. But anyway. <laughs> my goodness, you can, you can, see, the well, like arc. My, you can I, see the arc in an airplane. You can see I like my curve. I like my friend Spencer's coffee cup uh, he gave me here a while back. It's the Flat Moon Society. The flat, I got one of them too. <laughs> But, uh, uh, um, put in a plug for Spencer's ministry, tremendous ministry Spencer's yeah. providing. Yes. And we, uh, I talked to him recently uh, about talking about a couple of subjects, and he 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 talked like we were going to do something good over good. there, and and we need to get him back in here yes, too sometime. Do. Or I could bring a camera, or we could yeah. re we could yeah. record some clips right there in his office. But uh, uh, we've got some of his people who do video coming, yeah, coming here tomorrow to help us here. And, mm -hmm. uh, uh, if we're helpable, I don't know if we can be helped. <laughs> but uh, so it's, let's bring you're not this coming to help me. Let's bring this down to where we live with prophecy stuff. Yeah, a lot of people believe that the UFO hype is going to be part of the explanation of the rapture. Well, I'm I'm convinced it's part of the delusion. Yeah, you can already see how the spirit of delusions is sweeping our world. Yeah. you remove the restraint of the Holy Spirit. And you've already for decades through television, media, convinced the majority of the world that we were seated by aliens and UFO. It won't be, I'm confident it's going to be part of the explaining. So there's the a rapture. line there. There's different views of the prophecy crown. Mm -hmm. Some people believe when they talk about aliens, they're talking about another life form, not, not angels, not angelic. Mm -hmm. Then you've got the other group that says, no, those, those flying saucers are operated by fallen angels, mm -hmm. the, the Nephilim crowd and all yeah. that. Mm -hmm. um, I do not I believe... I doubt it be the one of I don't believe either of those. And uh, I, I, I think it's a delusion. But I know the, the media has been... We know that the media as a whole is under the supervision of demonic powers. Well, it's so much easier to push a sci-fi story... Oh. Hey, it's than sensational. It is, than it is to say, well, actually, that's, uh, that, you know, yeah. <laughs> actually, that's biblical. And, uh, that's why we don't sell many books, do we? Yeah. But if we got on the other side of it, we can, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I'm um, just going to stick with this book. The UFOs, Truth or Fable, folks, go on the website and you can get your copy of that and uh, boy, get them, pass them around, get them out there. Um, all right, so on that note, the, the TV show this coming Friday on CTN as well as uh, uh, on, here on YouTube. Doc, we're going we're gonna to talk about something very helpful. I hope, it, I think, I get a lot of questions in the question and answer times. Timelines. We're going to put, yep. I got two charts that we're going to put on the screen on, on, for everybody to see. And we're just going to, we're just going to talk about them. Yep. Uh, we'll leave them up quite a bit while we're talking. And we're going to explain the different timelines of the, of the seven thousand year Earth that we live on, and uh, uh, you know, Doc, uh, I was telling you out in the office there when God sat down in Genesis one to begin in the beginning, mm -hmm. He knew where the end would be. He did. He had a plan already. And I think He had it set in exact time. Yeah. Yes. I think it's a perfect. I've got a scenario where it's right to the second. Yeah. I mean, there's not a not a second lost and. Uh, we won't get quite that deep in our discussion, but uh, I talk about it in my books. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you got to have a whole chapter. to. Uh, I have a chapter called The Last Barley Standing in the Barley Harvest book. Mm -hmm. Very deep. You, you, you probably can't just read it once. You probably got to go back. In fact, I was just talking to Pastor Judd up in mm -hmm. Michigan. He was telling me that he read it a second time before he gave that book away. And I sent him a whole stack of stuff uh, the other day. Good. Probably got it already by now, but... Uh, um, 
he uh, he was he was pretty fascinated by that barley harvest book. Yeah, he was sharing it with a, at a pastor's conference where I preached the other day. He was sharing that yeah. information with some others. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like when you you're putting up you get a piece of a puzzle. It makes the other pieces. It it, yeah. it, it multiplies. It starts to make other things when fit. they start fitting in place. Yeah. yeah. And so when you and get then the picture starts coming into view, yeah, all of a sudden, hey, I see then it. Then you realize this piece. Oh yeah, this goes right here. Yeah, I think too many people try to force a puzzle piece that yeah. doesn't quite fit, but they they want it to fit and they and they're pushing on it. Can't you, do that. You you sound like uh, sound like my sister when my dad used to try to put them together. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it'd be better to get the picture and. See what God did. He had yeah. the whole picture. Hey, we got the picture and then right he, here. And then he cut yeah. out the pieces and scattered them yep. until it was time. Until Seal it, the book, Daniel, till the time of the, the end. In the fullness of time. Yeah. Everything has a time. Yeah. All right. Well, speaking of time, let's go ahead and shut this down. Thanks for watching. Make sure you, uh, if you haven't already, down there on the right on your screen, hit that subscribe button. Just press the button there, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the little bell, and you'll get alerts when we uh, come on. We're putting out about three YouTube videos a week now. We're doing this update, the TV show comes on here, and the radio program has its own playlist uh, of radios. There's, uh, as of right now, there's 10 on there, but there's actually 14. They're just not on all, they're not all up yet. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll get them up there eventually. And, uh, um, so three YouTube videos a week for four years, the, this little update, the TV, and then the 15 minute radio program. So plenty for you to, to learn and, and watch and glean from and share, share these, get them out there, share these on your, your pages, uh, whatever social media that you have. Okay. Well, I hope you know Jesus as your savior. I hope you're ready Amen. for the trumpet to sound. I hope that your sins are washed in the blood of Christ. I hope you understand what Passover is really all about. Amen. And uh, Doc, it's good to have you back. Amen. And, it's good uh, to be back. We'll, uh, we'll get... More we'll, than one way, it's good to be we'll, back. <laughs> we'll get going on the show here. And Okay, everybody, until next time, keep your eyes on them skies.